Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can find the latest year, quarter, month or let's say even the week uh, within the Power BI right. So that's the topic and this is my second topic and as you can see uh, second topic related to dates as you can see a lot of calculation that I am keeping. So this is the workbook that I am maintaining for my date scenarios. If you want to grab this, instructions are present in description on how to get that, right? And if you need the data, let me show you where it is present. So based on the link that I have given in the description, you will come over here in my data set folder. In my data set folder, what you will going to find is this data set sheet. Here I am maintaining now all of my data set and mostly I use this data set. Rest of that I have used in different types of uh, dashboards, but this is the one which is being used over here. So you can go ahead and download this in the from the row number 19. Along with this information about uh, this particular workbook uh, or the Google Sheet where I am keeping all of my videos. So this uh, inf instructions for this, how to get this sheet is also present in the description. What you can do is you can easily search any of my videos as you can see. 300 plus videos that I have posted and the link is present over here that way searching of the video is very very easy with that let's get back all right so here is the blank workbook in which we I have already imported that data set which I showed you from the sheet and the file that or the tab that I have imported is the orders data set so first thing first we will going to get is the latest date that is fixed at the data set level. So for that I will going to create a new measure called the fixed latest date um, latest date that is based on the max x function. So we need the table and we want that the table is not having any impact of the filter that's why I'm saying all orders. And over here, I will say within the expression that I need the maximum order date. Yep. And let's close this. So what it will going to do is it will give me the latest date, which I can check, right? Ideally, uh, it should be same for all the products, right? So over here, if you see, this is the subcategory, which I want to show you just few subcategories. And we have the fixed order date as you can see 31st of December 2012 uh, well how it is different from max date that is at individual product level is basically based on the order date which is here and only the order date and the latest one so what it shows is for example accessories last sold date is 21st of December well, this creates a problem in the reporting because in reporting we need to fix or anchor the date based on which we can calculate all the different calculations or basically produce the number. So that is the difference between max date or the latest date between the fixed latest date that we created with the help of the formula. Okay, so I'll just I hope you are clear with this why we have created this. Now what do we need is basically the latest year. Okay. So latest year is basically nothing but uh, based on your so alt enter is what I pressed if you are wondering alt enter var variable underscore latest date what I'm doing is I'm saying this should come in the this is a best practice otherwise sometimes uh, dex throws error so alt uh, fixed latest date we have assigned it to a variable alt enter we will say return alt enter and we will going to say year underscore latest date that is it what you need right so what i'll do is i will show you over here i'll bring this down and uh, latest year right now same way same formula rather than year what we can say quarter right so we got we will going to get the quarter right and uh, same way we will going to get the month right let's enter month that will be 12 because that was december same way we can get the week num right so that will give us the week number in this case 53rd week well 
probably because I think the Monday has appeared over there. So 53 weeks is what, what it is saying, but whatever is the number, right? So that's how you can take it uh, for your advantage, create as many formulas as you want. What do you need it? What is the crucial uh, in this video? What was the crucial thing in this video was this date, right? Once you have find it out, you can create all your date related calculation very, very easily. I hope now you have got the idea and I hope you enjoyed this video. Now I'll meet you in the next video with the new topic.